So, okay, oh, this is one where we're going to simulate a flood very quickly by doing some calculations on each point within the point cloud. Yes, uh, here we apply some expressions to uh, color components. As you can see, you can change any component of the point cloud, uh, but here we set a uh, flooding level uh, as a parameter. We will show that and then change a little bit the, the color. So if uh, a point is below that flood level, then decrease red and green components and increase blue. Otherwise, keep it as is. Right. So if you run it by pressing Control R, we can change it to say 250, 250 feet and run it. So and now each point will pass through this uh, ex through these expressions. I can so that was what four four point one million points there. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So this is our original. I was going to say it didn't look flooded to me, Dimitri. Yes. And now we have a what we have after that. Okay, there it comes in, and it's looking uh, looking bluish. Right. So, if you get some forecast that water will raise to this level, you can predict what 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 you should do. So it's it's a very very fast way, uh, basically accurate way to uh, to model changes in that way. And that's by doing point by point math. Now, Dimitri, I want to go off roading here a little bit. Uh, we are doing okay for time, and uh, I'd like to make. An example, and this one is a little salute out to our friends at Bohannon Houston, who, at some conference years ago, um, suggested we do this. So, gave me the suggestion. So, what I've got is a polygon. So, you want to just drag that in. I, I made a polygon last night in spatial light. That um, that was so. Yeah, go for spatial light. And uh, oh, you got to type the whole thing probably. Yeah, there, there I saw it. Spatial, that's too many ITE. Spatial ITE. There we go. Okay. Spatial light. New format in FME 2013. You never used it. Okay, well, we'll find out how it works. So, the lake leveler, there we go, that one. Um, hit the parameters. Look at the table list. We should have one table in there, which is our lake. We'll say okay to that. And we'll add that. So, okay all the way. And um, now let's also add that E57 input data. So, we have to um, change your format. Right. Uh, wait. So change it to E57. So we've got a point cloud. And the idea here, in a minute, will uh, pop up and look. So what I want to do, actually, is um, on the lake, just right click and say inspect all the way down there. And we'll take a look at this lake. And uh, let's see. Spatial light. That's a bad sign, Dimitri. OK. Well, we'll. Um, go with the fact that <laughs> I don't know what happened there but um, let's just go and add an in, um, add an inspector transformer to this okay inspector connect inspector and uh, go ahead and run that we should see that there's one feature yes there we go and it has an attribute called elevation so we know that the elevation within that lake is 3.2 meters it's pretty close to sea level here in Vancouver area and so now what we want to do is um, take and we'll go into this guy and attach a clipper. So we're going to clip the point cloud. And whoops, the, the clip E is the point cloud. The clipper is the lake. And now I want to go in the properties of the clipper. And I want to say to transfer the attributes. Yes, that's good. And so now we've got the part of the point cloud that's inside and the part that's outside. So now let's connect visualizers to all this. We can right click and say connect inspectors Yeah, to those two. And we won't run it just yet because um, we'll leave that, and now let's put down our point cloud expression evaluator, the PCEE. And let's attach the guys who are inside, and we'll pop that up. And what we're going to do is the component, we're going to change the Z. We're going to flatten this lake, and we're going to pop up the expression. And if we just drag out the clipped elevation, there we did. And um, that's been set like that. And now it should, now we'll do an, a, um, a point cloud combiner after this. PCC, point cloud combiner. So now we're going to bring back the one we just modified with the one that was outside and take a look at that result. All right. And so let me it. maybe drop a 
point cloud property extractor here. Right, okay, that's going to um, tell us what the mins and max were or something? Yes. Okay. Is it all okay? We just don't need all this. Okay. All right, so let's run this. So what we're doing is combining some knowledge of the topography with our point cloud. So if we, um, let's take a look, only the things that were inside. That was the original data. So and now we can see that the uh, elevation of the points within, a, well, Which uh, been the lake. yes, in a flat area uh, change from uh, two and a half meters to almost five meters, which is obviously wrong. Yes, so now afterwards, when we uh, combine the whole thing, there it is. And if we go in there and look at some of the points, just go and get the info on some of them, they should all be at 3.2. Right, we have to switch to 3D mode. Okay, here we go. Down in there. And let's uh, move that a little bit so we can see. Oh, we're not in the lake. We've got to flip on the lake so that we know where we're where we're working. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So we can see that we've leveled it all. So anyway, I threw that in, uh, friends at Bohannon Houston. That was something that you asked for a long time ago, and uh, it works just uh, pretty quickly. And you saw it's very very simple to basically combine information from vector features into the point cloud.